You're a swing dancer with knee pain. You social dance maybe once or twice a week. You dance, your knee gets sore, but just enough time passes between socials that you can go back swing dancing. You dance, you get sore. You rest a few days, your knee recovers. You dance again, and you get sore again, and the story repeats. But now you've signed up for an entire swing dance weekend. You've paid, and now you hope that your knee holds up the entire weekend. A full day of classes and social dances for several days in a row. My name is Adrian Miranda. I'm a physical therapist and a swing dancer. And I'm going to give you three essential tips to make sure that you get through the entire weekend and your knee holds up. Tip number one, prepare in advance. Give it about two to three weeks before the swing dance camp starts to start working on your body and preparing it. If you know your weaknesses, address those. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a few exercises that are going to help protect your knee. So your knee is predominantly meant to bend and straighten. Too much twisting causes the pain and the aches and the issues to arise in the knee. So you want to strengthen the muscles around the knee to protect the knee. So working on exercises like clamshells, leg raises, and glute bridges are going to be very important into preventing all that excessive twisting that leads to the injury. Don't forget about the ankle muscles. The ankle muscles are also very important in protecting the knee. So if you look at the image of the calf muscle, you can see how high it connects into the knee and it becomes an important muscle in protecting the knee. Also, don't forget about stretching. A tight muscle can lead to the knee having an issue and making it twist too much. So focusing on your calf muscles and your quad muscles are going to be an important part in preparing for that swing dance weekend. Stretch and massage nightly. Even five minutes makes a big difference. Massage your feet, massage your calves, massage your quad muscles. You're trying to reduce all the tension that's built up from the classes the day of or from social dancing the night before. Don't forget to stretch out the muscles as well. Keeping the elasticity and the flexibility is really important. So don't forget to stretch out your calf muscles and your quad muscles. Remember to warm up properly. I have a few videos in the description that you can follow along to that are, give you a couple of different options for warming up on the dance floor and at home or at wherever you're staying at the dance camp. And remember to drink plenty of water and eat well enough to fuel your body for all the activity that's going through during that weekend. And tip number three, you got through your entire swing dance weekend. Now it's time to rest and do some active recovery. But if you did a really good job of preparing your body before the swing dance weekend, and if you did a good job of massaging and stretching nightly during it and doing warm ups, drinking plenty of water, eating well, then you should bounce back pretty quickly either the next day or within one to two days. Otherwise, you can also do this if you're, you know, feeling a little bit sore or stiff or if you're feeling great. But an active recovery idea is to go walking for about 10 minutes for the next two days or do some really easy, gentle cycling for about 10 to 20 minutes. So hopefully that gives you enough things to work on to keep your knee healthy during your swing dance camp. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Swing strong. And remember, it's all connected.